What is up guys? My name is Matt Phoenix and I am back with some more Undertale. So, last time I beat Papyrus, I went out on the Papyrus date and that's about it. So, also today, if I am not doing the voices very well, I do apologize. I'm coming down with a slight cold. If I sound differently, differently, if I sound different, if I sound different, uh, if I, don't, uh, I can't talk today either, but um, yeah, if I sound kind of weird, that's why. Anyways, I forgot to read the sign. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Wow. Okay. Never would have. Oh, crap. Well, that works. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay. So I just gotta like run into the water. Oh, okay. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yes, I'll take it. You got the old tutu. Oh. That's nice. That is. Oh, so I just can't be hit by the rocks. Okay. Okay, that's a new effect. Uh. uh hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end. I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see. You see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay. That's... Uh... Oh no. What? Uh Oh no. Oh, I thought I wasn't like allowed to move or something. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ooh, okay. Okay, that kid just like splatted his face and then he got up and was still smiling. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yeah, a feeling of dread would hang over me too if I was almost just killed by Undyne. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they'll sprout. Okay, so, boom. That's one. Two. Three. And four. Boom. Perfect. Aaron flexes in. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Okay. Oh crap. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice! I won't lose though. Oh crap. Ooh, item. I don't have any. Uh. I don't have any. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. That works. 
Uh, okay, so I can't jump down there, so I'm gonna need to build a bridge over. I think I understand what I need to do. Um, maybe. Actually, no, I'm not sure anymore. Okay, um, well, I need to throw them right there, but I don't think- I only think three can go there. Yeah, only three can go there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If an error is made, the bell blossom can bring the bridge seeds back to her. Oh, well, I just figured that out, so. can't set them down here. That's kind of strange. Oh well. Can it read the sign? I can't even read the sign. Okay. Then three. Then four. Then the bridge is there. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. So, what are you wearing? I am asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Okay. A long time ago. Monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars and the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua. I'm gonna go clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Sweet. Green means clean. Crap. Yay. Our fate rests upon you. Bonks, stay determined. All right, I am back, and this time I uh, fled from Aaron, so I don't didn't take any damage from his flexing. So I'm gonna go clean this time again. But green means clean. All right, so I just need to get the green one. Okay. Jo Washua is rinsing off a pizza. Crap! <sighs> Dang it. Okay, spare now. Okay. Holy crap, that was close. Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. Check wall. Okay. Ah. Seems my horoscope's the same as the last week's. So I have no idea what check wall. Oh, that wall. Okay. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul out of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. 
but humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathom unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay, I didn't mean for it to do that, but oh well. It did it. Um, and, oh, oh. Oh, crap, Undyne. Was I supposed to do something there? Was I supposed to do something there? I don't know. Oh my god, like, like, was that like uh, someplace I was actually supposed to move, or? I'm just gonna hold down my arrow key. Okay, I can move here. Crap, okay, okay, oh, whoa, holy crap. That is intense. Okay. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay, perfect. Alright. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Can Undyne not gauge where I am because I'm in the grass? a monster kid. Okay. Alright, but I need to keep moving. Okay, Undyne's rather ruthless. I can't move. Okay. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, you are unlucky. If you were just standing a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Uh, that kid trips a lot. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. I can all, knowing the mouse white might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, fills you with determination. Squeak. All right. Let's keep going then. Oh, it's Sands. It's an odd looking telescope. I'm thinking about getting it into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, I can use it for free. How about it? Use the telescope? Yes. Oh, that's, that's great. That's just perfect. Okay, so there's like absolutely nothing here. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Use the box? Yeah. Yes. Let's stick the old tutu in there. Wait, can I actually wear the old tutu? That is a question I kind of want answered. X. Uh, control item. Control item. Old tutu. Use. You equipped the old tutu. So, did that unequip anything? Oh, that replaced the bandana. So, no. Uh, one second, let me check. Item. Old tutu. Info. 10 defense. Um, Alright, so I think that's more than what I got right now, so use. Okay, boom. X. Crap. I actually entered Cortana. Great. What are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? 
Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Uh, no. Oh, jeez. Uh. Why do I have a purple eye? I have a black eye. Why do I have that? Uh, okay. Oh, wait. I don't have it anymore. What? Is it just in that room? No, I don't have it in this room anymore. What? What's up with that? Huh. It's the ice cream man. I re relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Alright. Okay, super, here you go. The card's in the box. Take. Alright. What's this? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Great. No respect for architecture, do you? Have. You have no respect. I, I can't talk today. Just English doesn't work. Okay, so I can't reach him yet. So I need to go down. Alright, so new area. No black eye anymore. That's that's a good thing. Um, what's this? You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? You hear, uh, you'll hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Well, that's the way wishes normally are. A mold small. They're already willing to be spared, so let's just spare them. Okay, that works. Huh? Okay. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? You take it, yes. Item. Ballet shoes. Use. Equip the ballet shoes. What did I have on before? Tough glove, okay. Those don't really have any effect on me because of the fact that I don't attack. So, those have no bearing on my gameplay whatsoever. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already, and because you knew that, I told her that what you told me you were wearing a bandana because I knew of course after such a suspicious question you would obviously change your clothes you're such a smart cookie this way you're safe and I didn't lie no betrayal anywhere being friends with everyone is easy uh I didn't even think about to do that but you know oh well I survived watch one Aaron appears uh, pfft, crap I meant to I clicked the wrong thing Alright. I'm out of here. Alright. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Okay. What's this? The power. <laughs> Sorry about that. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be a thing. Uh, oh, hey there. Hey there, noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you heard? Here. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? 
Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Okay, good for you. Hey. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. All right. Let's go. Crap. Uh, Sheeran hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. <laughs> smile. You smile. You ask to see Sheeran smile too. Sheeran gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Toot. Sheeran pretends to be a pop idol. Smile. He keeps smiling, but nothing happened. Toot. Alright, what? Sheeran hums very faintly. You keep smiling, but nothing happens. Alright. I take it that's not the way to get, get her to um, hum. You hum a funky tune. Sheeran follows your melody. Okay. Okay. Sheeran seems much more comfortable singing along. Flee. Alright. The northern room hides a great treasure. Then let's go find it. There's a piano here. Play it. see how it is okay anyways let's just go back out and a haunting song echoes down the corridor won't you play along only the first eight are fine hmm only the first eight are fine. What? I don't entirely understand that. I have a feeling I'll learn this song at some point. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and, in and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of a monster called a boss monster. Boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, only f if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem to dry. All right. Please take one. Take an umbrella. Take one took an umbrella. Oh, it's raining. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Oh, you're taking my umbrella. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, yeah, that piano was there, but man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would want I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Alright, um but that piano was there and I haven't learned the tune. I'm probably gonna have to come back to that later. Unless so one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dre Moore, volunteered to donate his own flowers. 
He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Okay. But, um... It's like... It's, um... Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Like, have we already heard the tune and I just am not thinking of it? Or what? Because it's possible that... It's like the, um, theme for the... What's it called? The... What's it? The... Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. The Ruins. There we go. Return the umbrella. Put back. You return the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Line it up. Boom. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a, a way to get through. Oh, you trip again. Okay, so... Ooh, it's dark. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. So the humans are like terrible people in this. Oh crap, there's probably an under, another Undyne meeting, isn't it? Uh. Okay, oh. Yep. Knew it. Okay. Okay. Just gotta keep running. Oh, that was close. Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. No! Oh no! Oh crap. No crap. Oh, hey! Oh no. I think I'm going the right way because it's getting faster. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, oh crap. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Oh crap! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, ooh, okay. There's just too, too much room. Too much room. Okay. Oh, no, ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh crap. Um. Uh, I, I have no way out, do I? <sighs> Crap. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Fonks, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Okay. It didn't tell me their name. I suppose there's a reason for that. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Okay. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless uh, cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Okay. 
And I think that is where I'm going to leave off for today. So my name is Matt Phoenix, and I've been playing Undertale. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Put it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!